Hey, what's going on guys? James here and welcome to episode number 26 of James and Simon's Tech Adventure. Obviously today it's just me, but Simon should be back on Wednesday, so only two more episodes, hopefully until Simon should be joining us. In the meantime, what do we need to do? Uh, we have some work to do on Tech It. We are going to build a solar panel farm. I have some solar arrays on me. I've got a bat box here, which Simon made. But I'm actually going to make a... Uh, the, the next thing up from a bat box, I think, which I think was called, oh crap, I'm going to forget it, I think it was an EMC, please be an EMC, no, is it an EMU, no, uh, was it an E something, oh damn it, I wanted to make the next item up, but I can't remember what it was called, alright, maybe we're not going to make the next item up today, maybe that's for another day, clearly, um, oh god, oh god, oh god, problem, 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 I'm AFK. I was never AFK. Alright, anyway, so, um, I know how to make the, uh, the next thing further up, I believe. I needed some power crystals. I know what they are. So, let's have a look at those. So, we needed some power. Maybe it wasn't, maybe it was energy. Some energy, here we go, some energy crystals. Uh, with energy crystals, we needed four of them, I believe. And we need diamond and redstone. So, if we head over to our chest... Then we grab our diamonds that we made last time. Uh, and we obviously need 32, I believe. 32 of this, which we've got here. So we'll make all these. Like so. And then put the four diamonds. We've got loads in here as well. All right, And put the four diamonds in the middle. And here's our solar arrays. Low voltage solar arrays. We've only got two. Okay, so we've got our low voltage solar arrays. And energy crystal... Ah, these energy crystals are not energized. So how do we energize an energy crystal? I'm guessing... What was that? How did I get back to that? Energy storage upgrade. Maybe it was ES. Energy storage unit. No. Oh, why can't I remember what you are called? I wish I could. That's so... Fr that's really frustrating. Like, I, I hate forgetting things like that. It's just so annoying. It seems like I'm massively unprepared as well. But that wasn't the most important thing. That was just what I was going to put the energy in instead of the bat box. We can always put the bat box down for now and upgrade from there. But I wanted to build the solar thing out here. And I've been looking at something called solar flowers. Now, solar flowers seem like a very good thing to do if you're using copper wire. However, because we've now got the um, energy... Is this the... Oh, crap. Is this the energy condenser? I think so. Uh, now we've got the energy condenser which we can make the diamonds from and what I thought we could do is instead we could make ourselves um, some glass fiber wire uh, so it's like it's like glass instead of like normal wire we get this glass fiber cable and this is quite expensive so we need glass diamonds and what's that industrial diamond glass diamonds and redstone now last time around on the end of the live stream <laughs> I made loads of glass. You can see I'm inventory using this machine right here. And so we just need some diamonds. And this is just some expensive cable. Um, you know what? I'll just put half of them in there. Yeah, I need to put these in here now. For now. I've got nothing to charge them with anyway. No generator or anything. That's my iron furnace. So if I make some of these... Alright. Let's just make five stacks first, which is 30 cable, I believe. Yeah. Um no. There we go. Right. Um that seemed like a very long winded way of doing it. Probably was. But nevertheless. Oh you only get four. I was I was under the impression you got six. You only get four. That's hardly any. I've only got twenty. Right, we just have to make some more. We just have to make we have to do it, we have to make some more. Um put some more glass in. Like so. And now we'll ha we will have plenty. So that should be plenty for now. Put that there as well. So we've got 40 glass cable. Now, so even though you could make this energy flower, um, I think it's actually better if we make ourselves a... What I always want to do is I want to... Let's just put the bat box down for now because... No voltage solar array. Did I get all the solar arrays? Was I keeping them there? So that's solar panels. You make the solar array with the solar panel. 
and this is an LV transformer. That was what you need to make the solar array from. That with solar panels around it, I believe. Um, I think I had all the solar arrays here. So this is all the solar arrays. We've got all of our machines we need to put back up, which I've taken down as we are currently constructing the house. But I believe that's all the solar arrays we have for now. But if we take out our bat box, which is here, and we place the bat box, let's just say here, in the middle of the room, right? Put you there like that. Uh, and then what I want to do is I want to dig down. I believe my stuff is currently healing itself because I've got a talisman of repair. I believe my stuff is currently repairing itself in here. So if I take it out, right. So if we dig down in the house, I thought what we could do is we could like we could run a grid of cables throughout the house um below ground level so for instance if we dig this out so if we dig this out for now I'm AFK again apparently and then we get out our wrench I believe it's this wrench as opposed to the other wrench and that'll put the output so that's the output there the green is the input and the red is the output so with the output if we now go Hmm. There we go, down into the house. Now we can have like a grid under the house and energy power can be taken into any machine like so. Uh, let's jump into bed because it's night outside, as you can see. <laughs> um, so before Simon, Simon extended the house while I was away, I guess, because he started putting down a lot of the, the uh, solar panels inside. Um, but I don't think inside's really a good idea. The house isn't meant to have solar panels inside it. Right. So, three blocks along, one, two, three, and if we just uh, come in here and take you out, let me get through here, and this is an input, so what we can do is, eventually we can have solar panels going along here, but for now, we could just put solar panels, I believe, I don't know if you can put it there, I think you can, just alongside the wood. We can put solar panels there, and then eventually we can put a solar panel on top as well. So, even though they're, they're solar arrays at the minute, we'll just attach a solar panel as well. So if I get a solar, I think there's someone here, a solar panel itself, I believe we could do this. Um, so pretend this is a solar array, we could, we could do that as well, all the way along. And now, because it's sunny out, they should be collecting power. And there we go. And the bat box power level is now increasing, which is awesome. So then from there, we can go down and across and make kind of like a power network inside the house. Uh, the next thing I wanted to do was... Um, I wanted to look up something. I wanted to look up obsidian pipe. Let's, uh, let's have a little look. Obsidian pipe. Mm, obsidian stick, obsidian transport pipe, two obsidian and a glass, and that'll make eight of them for us. So, what did I want to do with obsidian transport pipe? Now, do you remember? Let's say, imagine you have to, you have to imagine this. I so put a chest here, and it goes into the macerator. Is that right? So it turns, um, turn. No, no, it goes into the furnace. Yeah, let's just say it's going to go into the furnace, but let's say there's tin in the furnace and no no you macerate your first so it goes straight to the macerator to get the two dust That's a bit, a bit, this keeping up with this technology is so hard um, so let's say it goes into the macerator and you get the dust and there's currently iron in the macerator macerating but we've got tin that's about to flow in now that tin will just pop out and go on the floor if I put an obsidian pipe next to it it should and a um, a redstone engine it should suck up that um that stuff that pops out and go back into the chest and that way i don't have to make sure there's only one thing in the chest i can put whatever i like in that chest and it'll just keep looping around until it's got space inside the macerator for it to go in so that's one thing i want to set up which i believe i need the obsidian pipe for i believe i'm not 100 certain you might just need pipe with redstone engine but i was under the impression you might need redstone pipe i mean obsidian pipe um I also want to get a sorting pipe and a quarry, so out here, I'm not sure exactly where yet, oh I can replant these, I want to do a quarry, 
um, somewhere nearby. And then from the quarry, I need to transport the the goods from the quarry back. Right, there we go. I need to transport the goods from the quarry back to the house and then into the whole system of making bars. And how are you living there? Absolutely not. There we go. And apparently I'm AFK again. Apparently AFK is something to do with combat. I was told in the live stream. Like, I am AFK until I enter into combat. Then I'm not AFK. So the bat box has filled already. Which is why uh, we need this other item. Which, I tell you what. I'm just going to really quickly just check what it actually is. So... Damn it. I didn't want to do this. So a bat box upgrade. I need to find out what it's called. Um... Uh, it doesn't... Why, why? It's going to be one of these situations now where I can never find out what the hell the actual upgrade is. This is so annoying. Okay, so I had to actually stop it there because it was taking me forever. But I found out it's the MFE unit. That's what I was after. The MFE. So uh, this is what you need the energy crystal for. And gold insulated cable. Now, I don't have any gold insulated cable. I do believe I have a machine block, so we'll go double check. But I think there's one around. There's a machine block there. So we need the machine block in the middle. The gold insulated cable. Where is it? The gold insulated cable. This is what we need next. So we need insulated gold cables. So we need some gold and some rubber. And that should make us enough. And is that? That is insulated gold cable straight up. Oh no, two times insulated gold cable, so I need rubber on insulated gold cable. So I need four rubber and a gold, and that should make that. So I believe we'll keep the gold in the gold chest. Right, so I only need one, which is good. And hopefully we've got enough rubber around. I remember using quite a lot of our rubber. I might have made it all into that. If I did, that would be annoying. Please say I didn't. James, please don't have... Damn it! <laughs> Got lots of that. Oh, have we, oh, there's two rubber. No way. There's a really two rubber. So I've got two rubber. In which case, I need. I need the wood. The wood tap. The tree tap. Which I'm hoping is around tree tap. Don't see a tree tap. If we don't have the tree tap, I need wood. There should be a tree tap. There's a tree tap, right. So there's a tree tap. Let's go outside and quickly get some more rubber. I only need, I only need, how many do I need? Eight, I believe. Yeah, right. right, that noise is so good. Blob. Any more? Nope. That tree is bare. Um, right, that should be enough now. Yes, nine. No, no, ten. Yeah, no, yeah. Hang on. I needed six overall, I believe, so that should be good. So I just chucked that in there with a bit of coal. How are we lacking so many basic necessities? All the coal. What the hell happened to our coal? Have we really got no coal? There's tungsten. Uh, energy crystals. There must be coal around. Come on. Oh, here we go. Oh, there might have been rubber in here. Here's iron boots. I've got rubber boots on at the minute, which are pretty cool. The whole notion of rubber boots is is awesome, I think. Um, but, yeah, I, I can't remember now. It's been so long ago since we made this. Please be that's how you make resin. Sticky resin. No, that goes to rubber. Please. Please go to rubber. Yes, that goes to rubber. Right, so get one more, and then while the, the others are cooking, I can make the insulated gold cable, the four. And then we need to make two times insulated gold cable. So, there's our insulated gold cable one times. Now we need two times insulated gold cable. I'm going to wait for two more. And then we need to figure out a way to charge up. Uh, crystals, so if I just take one of them I need to just dump some shit, I'm getting really full and I don't like it when I'm full so. that was a flint I think, yeah 
that's the flooring of our house. <laughs> Some sapphires. Yeah, that'll do. Right, that's enough. That's enough crap dumped for now. Um, I'll eat up quickly. Okay, so... Where was I? Oh yes, I've got to try and charge this. I don't know if you could just charge this directly in here. No, apparently not. I can't remember how to charge things. Like, how would I, how would I charge this energy crystal? Like, give it energy. I honestly don't know. <laughs> Go in the furnace. Oh, it goes in the furnace. Everything. I think everything goes in the furnace. There. <laughs> that doesn't help me. I need to figure out how to charge any energy crystal. Can't think of there's a machine I can put it in that would charge it for me. I can't really remember. So I'll have to figure that out for next time, which means we're not going to be able to make it. But for now, I can make the two times insulated. Where are you? Two times insulated. There, rubber. So there's all of that. That's what we needed. And now, if I go and get it, we'll see if it will work without it being charged. But considering the picture has it charged, I somehow doubt it. But I needed the machine block. And here you go, look, machine block with the charged energy crystals there, 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 and there, and then this two times it's laid cable around the edge. Oh, hang on, it works, MFE, so you can do it without it being charged, so that's even better news. Raining. I have to do that because the rain is just absolutely horrible. So if we now... Take out our wrench and we wrench it. That'll move it to that. If you wrench it again, it'll pop out like so. And then now we can put in our that's about like our MFE. And if we plonk it there, what the hell? Oh, that's a black box. It's gone there. And then we wrench it to the bottom. Then that should now be no 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 no. Alright, then that should now be charging. There we go, charging. High level. Oh, it's because it's um, it's dark outside. So if I pop into bed, hopefully, with the sun, it should start charging. There we go, and it's charging, and it's up to six hundred thousand, which should be a good energy source for now. We just need to add more solar arrays as we go along, and we get them. Anyway guys, that has been Rune Shark's Tech It adventure for today and hopefully I should see you guys tomorrow for episode number 27. Hope you enjoyed.